Thank you very much for listening my talk. I'm Yosuke Todo, and I'd like to talk about modeling for a three subset division property with an unknown subset. This is a joint work with Yonlin Hao, Gregor Render, Willy Mayer, and Chin Ju Wang. First, I want to explain the overview of my talk. So, the topic is about cube attack. And Cuba Duck was proposed by Dinua and Shamir at Eurocrypt 2009. Cuba Duck is a variant of higher order differential cryptanalysis, and the main target is Stream Cycle. So in Cuba Duck, uh, the function f is a target, and this is a Stream Cipher, and x is a pub secret, and b is a public. So now we assume the function f is decomposed like these equations. So the goal is to recover this polynomial called super poly. So if we can recover simple super poly, then we can attack stream cycle. So the, for the cube attack, the main goal is to recover the super poly. We have several approaches. The first approach was proposed by Dinu and Shamir, and it, this method is an experimental method. Another method was recently proposed by uh, Crypt to, in Crypt 2070, and this method uses theoretical algorithm. Very recently, so more general generic algorithm using three subset division property was proposed at Azure Crypt last year. So if we use this technique, we can recover the exact super poly even if cube size is very large. But this algorithm conceptually works, but if we want to apply this algorithm for the best attack against stream cipher, it's far from practical. So now we want to propose a new algorithm dedicated for a super poly recovery. This is the result of our new algorithm, and we have two types of results. The first one is the degeneration result, where we report some errors about the previous best key recovery attack. At Crypt 2018, the best key recovery attack against Trivium was proposed, but our algorithm detected that there is a flaw on the their degree estimation. Unfortunately, this error is critical and this attack no longer works. At Crypt 2018, we also have the best key recovery attack against Grain 128A. On this attack, the super poly is much simpler than the authors expected and the key recovery attack is degenerated to the distinguishing attack. Another result is the best key recovery attack, where the super poly for 841 round trivium is recovered. And this super poly recovery was already updated to 842 rounds in our full version. For grain 128A, we showed the super poly recovery for 119 rounds. Let's start my talk, and first I want to explain what is cube attack. The main target of cube attack is stream cipher, and the input of stream cipher is secret variables and public variables. And the Z is a first bit of key stream, and function f is stream cipher, and it's a public function. In cube attack, we first prepare the indices of active bits described by i, and ci is a set of 2 to the i values where bi is active. Assuming the function f is decomposed like this, then the sum of z over the cube is equal to the super poly pi. So attackers can recover secret variables x by analyzing super poly but if we want to do it, 
we need to recover super poly in advance and super poly must be simple. This is the history of CubeAttack. The first generation was proposed by Dinu and Shamir and this method used super poly recovery by experimental approach. It means we first create cube at random and compute the sum by experiment and check. So if we use this technique, the cube size i must be practical. For example, the size i is up to 32. In the second generation was proposed at Crypt 2017. And in this method, complexity to recover super poly is bounded theoretically. But we need assumption. So in the second generation, this idea used the bit-based division property instead of experimental approach. First, we prepare the initial division property corresponding to cube. And if we use this initial point, it means the target is xj and k is a bit vector such that which is the k is equal to ti. And we check division, the propagation of division property from initial to output. And if there is no division trace, then we know xj is not involved to the super poly. And we can check uh, this, the existence of division trait by using MIP easily. So we just check secret variables that might be involved. And j is, if j, when j is the size of uh, involved secret variables, the complexity to recover super poly is bounded by 2 to the i plus j. But in this method, we assume that secret key is involved if there are division trade. So if this assumption doesn't hold, the attack would be degenerated to distinguishing attack from key recovery attack. So in the third generation, this assumption is removed and exact super poly is recovered with practical time. But how to do it? So original preliminary idea was already introduced at Asia Crypt last year. More accurate method called three subset division property is used. Three subset division property was originally proposed at FSC 2016, but unfortunately, there was no efficient algorithm. So it's uh, unlikely to apply this, uh, this uh, more accurate method to stream cipher. But last Asia Crypt, an efficient MIRP-based algorithm was first proposed. So in the bit-based division property used the set of k and the set of zero, but in the three subset division property, it used the set of zero and the set of k and set of f. But if we want to use this three subset division property to recover the super poly, we need more accurate one called three subset division property with that unknown subset. In this case, the set of k is removed from the three subset division property. But fortunately, original algorithm for a three subset division property is directly applied to this one. But unfortunately, so that if we direct this direct application cannot produce the best attack against the stream cipher. And only degeneration of the best attack was shown. So I, so this reason is the algorithm at Edge Crypt was originally designed for the three subset division property with unknown subset. So I think the direct application to the cube attack is not always efficient. So our approach is we propose a new 
algorithm dedicated to the three subset division property with that unknown subset. So now I want to explain the division trade and the three subset division trade. For simplicity, I want to explain everything by using graph. The goal is to check if f2 to the r of x has a monomial x to the u or not. In this setting, we first prepare the initial division property and uh, this property is a bit vector whose length is the same as block size. And this bit vector is exactly the same as u, this u. The final division property is also bit vector, where the ice bit is 1 if we focus on the ice bit of f2 to the r of x, and other bits are 0. Next, we create, we generate the division property for k1 by using the propagation rule, and we apply this propagation rule repeatedly, so we get k2, get kr minus 2, and get kr minus 1, then kr. So now, we check the existence of division trail from beginning to the end. In this example, we have this red line, so it means there is a division trail. So in this case, we say there could be x to the u in f to the r. But for example, if this trail is removed, is nothing, in that case, there is no trail from beginning to the end. In this case, we know there is no x to the u in the polynomial f to the r. But this property means, so even if we use bit-based division property, we cannot detect uh, the fact this monomial is always involved. So this property is the reason of assumptions we need in the second generation cube attack. So three subset division property is promising improvement because it is more accurate than the bit-based division property. In the three subset division property, we need to manage two different graphs, K graph and L graph. The K graph is exactly the same as the original one, but L graph as a propagation rule is slightly different. And the propagation rule is very complicated. And it's a very, very difficult to model everything by using MIRP because of two main reasons. So one reason is unknown producing property. This property is a new node for k is generated by the node for node of l. And cancellation property is another issue. So in that case, so that if there are even number different sources, the new bit vector in l must be removed. Unfortunately, if we want to use MIRP or SAT to model uh, the three subset division property, it is uh, very difficult to manage these two properties. Very recently, at AsiaCrypt 2090, the first efficient algorithm for three subset division property was proposed. This idea is the best fast search algorithm with MIRP based pruning. So, in the three subset division property, we need to manage two graphs. And the for first one, for k part, this algorithm is the same as no MIRP based algorithm. For l part, we first apply the uh, trivial breast fast touch algorithm. But after we get node, each node, we call MIRP again. And then we check this node is meaningful or not. 
So they said this technique is milp based pruning techniques. And this example for L1, we have five nodes, but after applying milp based pruning technique, only two nodes are remained and other three nodes are removed. And repeat. In this case, cancellation property is easily managed. If we use this algorithm, we need to solve the sum of size of Li milp problems. It means if the size of a node is not so many, this algorithm is practical. But if the size of node is extremely high, much, then unfortunately, this algorithm is not so practical. So now, I want to propose more simple method. Actually, our strategy is very simple. So first, previous algorithm at Asia Crypt 2090 was originally designed for three subset division property with unknown subset. So this property it's for the block cipher, so the supposed application is a block cipher. But this uh, algorithm can be also applied to the super poly recovery, but this direct application is not always efficient. So eventually, this algorithm can't recover the super poly of Trivium with the best attack. So now, we design a new algorithm by dedicating to the three subset division property with that unknown subset. In our case, we focus on the three subset division property with that unknown subset. So it means we no longer have the graph for K. We only have the graph for L. So we don't need to manage uh, unknown producing property because there is no graph in K. So only the, the remaining problem is only cancellation property. But now we don't have uh, the K graph. So in that case, we don't need to manage all intermediate nodes. So in this case, Extreme, in the extremely, the cancellation at the final round is no problem. It means we just enumerate all trade from start, from beginning to the end. So this is a summary of the comparisons uh, of the previous algorithm, previous algorithm for bit-based division property and our algorithm. For the first, the model is different. Previous one used the model for the propagation for K, but our one, we use the propagation for L. It is slightly different. So for propagation rule for the division property, we have three rules for copy and and X -over. For copy rule, Previous one use and a uh, plus, but our one is or. And and rule, previous one is b is greater than or equal to ai, but our one is b is equal to ai. For x a rule is exactly the same. So our new modeling is very very similar but different. And the goal is also different. Previous one is to check the existence of trade, but our one, we need to check the number of trades. And if this number is odd, we know x2 to the u is always involved, and if it's even, no x2 to the u. And the advantage of our new algorithm is super poly friendly. So super poly recovery friendly. So it means we need to, so 
Actually, so that if we want to recover the superbody, we need to recover all ANF coefficients. And our algorithm can recover superbody by calling only one build problem. So how to do it? So the first, we want to create initial division property, but in this, in this case, for secret variables, we set arbitrary by arbitrary and for public variables, if it's active, we set this bit is constrained by one. And if it's zero, constant zero, this value, this bit is constrained by zero. And if it is a one, we set this bit is arbitrary. And run only one MIP problem and enumerate all trades. And after we enumerate all trades, we count the number of each initial division property and uh, check uh, the number of uh, initial division properties appears. So now we apply this new algorithm to the uh, cube attack. So this is the result for cube attack against Trivium. Previous best attack is for 839 rounds, but this cube attack is already degenerated to the distinguishing attack. But it implies the super poly is much simpler than uh, the, uh, we expected. So we just try the same similar cube to attack 840 rounds. And this is the result of the initial, uh, the list of initial division property, and and uh, this is the result of the super body. So this cube uses used sep, uh, the dimension of this cube is seventy eight, so it's very very big, large, but we can recover the super body with practical time, and this super body is balanced function because there is x. 12 and this bit is missing in other, bit, other monomials. So this is a summary of applications. So we have two types result. The first one is degeneration result. So first, uh, the degeneration to distinguish shell for three beam was already proposed and we also show uh, the flow in the degree estimation in crypto 18 papers and we show this attack does not work. <clears throat> and Grain and Acon has the similar issues about the previous trivium uh, degeneration result. So we know uh, previous best key recovery attack is distinguishing attack. And we also improved the best key recovery attack for Trivium, Grain, Acorn, and Cravium. And for Trivium, our uh, camera-ready version only, only attack 8 for one round, but our full versions, we already recover the super body for 8 for two rounds. So I conclude my talk. I propose a new tool, and this tool is very simple and easy to implement. And this tool can, uh, by using this tool, we get new generation cube attacks. So we no longer need theoretical step to recover the super body. And the super body that lead to the best key recovery attack can be recovered. So we get the best key recovery attack for Trivium, Grain, Acorn, and Cravium. Thank you very much for listening to my talk.